Good evening, I'm Paula Toti. There is a problem in one part of the tri-state and maybe you can help. Another serial robber is terrorizing local businesses. First it was the sock hat bandit, now we have the shirt mask bandit. He's hit seven businesses in the last eight days and shows no sign of slowing down. Local 12's Angela Ingram is live in the newsroom with why his actions are really alarming police. Angela? Paula, officers have some serious concerns because in one case he put the gun to a customer's back. In another, he pointed it at a 13-year-old boy and threatened to shoot him. He covers his face partially with a t-shirt while holding people at gunpoint. Police are calling him the shirt mask bandit. The most recent robbery was at this Dollar General on Cave Run Drive in Erlanger. There was a 13 year old inside the store. He pointed the pistol at that boy, ordered him out of the store and then turned his attention to the cash register. And Erlanger police have pictures of the man from multiple angles in various robberies in northern Kentucky. In just eight days, investigators have linked seven robberies to the same person. Two have been in Erlanger, including one on July 25th at Racers Gas Station. He walked up behind a, a customer who was already at the counter and put the gun in, in the customer's back, told him if he moved he would put a hole in him, and then he gave the clerk the instructions to give him the money out of the register. The surveillance photos are coming in from Covington, Fort Mitchell, Crescent Springs, Florence, and this BP in Fort Wright. In addition to gas stations and stores, a Skyline restaurant was also hit, and although no one has been hurt at this point, police say this man is still a danger. He's uh, pointing his gun at people other than just the person that he's robbing. Uh, and the frequency of the robberies is, is unusual for us, so the, our, it gives us reason to be more alarmed than we typically would be. And in the Florence robbery, a clerk chased after him as he ran from the store, and police from multiple jurisdictions have shared his pictures on Facebook in hopes of catching him. Live in the newsroom, Angela Ingram, Local 12 News. Paula, back to you. All right, thank you, Angela. And our viewers, if you have any information that can help police, you are asked to call Crime Stoppers. That number is 352-3040. You don't have to leave your name, and you could get a cash reward.